my friends. It's coming along. Um, just to show you what it looks like in here. Kind of um, um, the textures of these didn't quite turn out the way I wanted to. There is not a lot of crack, crack, like cracking through the paint, but work on that a little later actually. But um, I still have some good um, texture happening here from, you know, heating it up and that kind of thing. I decided to put some of them in a toaster oven to heat, get really heating, drying them up at 200, just at 200. I was watching them and they're bubbling up and stuff because there was so much glue behind it. So I really got some good texture from that, which I like. So I was trying something different. And like I said, I had it was had boring the amount of time, and it was keeping track of them and watching them the whole time. So, um, yeah. So I got a lot of bubbling, and then of course when they go back down and I push them back down, they go like that. So, yeah, that's how it turned out so far. So yeah, I tried something different, and I really like it. And then I rolled them out with my um, thing after, flipped them over, rolled them out, and popped whatever, like little bubbles up that I had from doing that. Flatten them out. I got some really good texture. I'm very happy with it. So... That's good. So this is what I have. And then I wanted to put them back in there to make sure they fit. And I had to cut just a little bit off the top here. So you can see because with it painted they fit just, they were just a little, I don't know what it was, but it was just a little too close and wasn't, uh, being able to flip easily, so I had to trim a little bit off. Okay, so at this point, I think either hmm, I'm going to modge, podge, or collage some of this paper here that I have in this bag. I have um, these papers here, and I have tons of them, and I want to use some of them up. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be using these because they have just orange gold leafing on them and, and stuff like that. So they're not really... But I think I will use some of these and tear them up and add them to it. So here we go. Move my tin here. Use my... Um, Mod Podge brush. And I'm just going to put some of this on there and I don't know if I'm going to, how much I'm going to put on them. Um, I'm not even sure why I'm putting it all on, on them. I don't know. I'm just going to put it on there and go from there. I have no reason to do it. Um, I just want to do something different than I normally do, so actually I'm just going to put it, try to Mod Podge is on there. And I know I've got all these cards, I'm kind of doing them all like together. I don't know why, I just decided to do them all kind of together, so that's how it's going for now. I don't really want to cover up the um, cracked parts that I put in there, so that's why I moved it down a bit. So. I've got to try to put them somewhere where it's not going to be covering up 
something that I put intentionally down. And I'm just going to play with it. So you can use anything you guys want. I'm just using this, I don't know, because it's what I want to do, like a theme for a theme. It's not really an Asian theme, it's just the paper I want to use on there. So. It's just what I want to use. And I have had this for a long time. Um, so. I'd like to buy some more, but you buy you get whatever you get, and when you buy the pack, it's for burnt offerings. You can get them at the um, or in the Chinese uh, mall, and um, I used all my colorful ones already. Up so. I wanted to. I would like to get more colorful ones. See what I can find. It's hard to tell. Sometimes I just get like where I was going to put it in one place and then I decide to put it in another place. Hard to tell what we're going to do. So just placing it wherever I kind of, like I said, I have an idea of what I don't want to cover. So I'm just going on that basis of that. And this one, I'm going to probably put in two spots. These are going to be really fun art cards. You can just, like I said, this is going to be really fun because you're going to have like a whole kind of a series of them with nice sayings or quote, something inspirational, or even just things you can see. He doesn't have to put quotes, but it's just an idea. But it's going to be really fun to... I think it's going to be really fun to play with something like this. just kind of play without really thinking too much. This is really convenient for me because I have these papers and so they're all the same. I, yeah, I don't have to think through all this and just enjoy the process. And that's the whole point of, of this, is just to enjoy the process. So I'm looking around to see where I can add more. I had no idea I was going to use this paper. I just like, hmm. But that's the nice thing about cleaning your craft room and putting like certain things that you haven't used in a while out because then you could. I had the baggie up and I'm like, oh, I'm going to use that. Clean out your craft room, put things up, have lots of shelving, move things around so then you remember what you have. And then something kind of pops up in your mind and you're like, fresh to where you had it, so that's really nice. Very nice. So, 
put in a few more touches. I feel like I want three on these ones here. And uh, there we go. One more right here. Since I have this last piece here not used that I haven't ripped off or that have ripped off. And there we go. So I'm going to dry these off and uh, make sure that they're stuck down and trim them around the edges. And aren't they pretty interesting? They're pretty interesting. And I'll be right back. I'm really happy with the way these are looking. So here's how they're looking. Pretty, pretty interesting. So next, I'm going to stencil. And I think I'm just going to stencil with um, um, with this with some black ink. Cause I have. Uh, nothing really planned for this. I'm just going, I'm trying not to think about it, and I'm just going and going. Thank you. Isn't that just nice? It's so nice. So you can really see because that bubble popped really funny there because I actually popped the bubble because it really, this one really got huge in my toaster oven. And I pulled some of it off because it was kind of really crinkly and it popped and then the color's coming through. So I put a lot of glue on this one. I guess when I was smushing the glue on, I must have put it really thick on this part. So it looks really cool. So I got the crack pot, crack pot, crack part, and that crackle look a little bit here. Um, I didn't quite get the right. I should have had more runnier white glue in there. Um, and maybe the glue be a little drier and not so thick. It would have crackled more. And um, then the bubbles was really something I really liked. I just love that texture. So I really like that. So now I'm just going to go in with the black. And um, Punchinella. Couldn't think of the name. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, do I have trouble these days. I don't know. I'm going to go in with the punchinella and just add a little blackness to catch the eye, I think. Just like this. Isn't this nice? So this is not, um, this is just art. You don't have to put an image like of anything on here. You put quotes or something, something that makes you inspired. But yeah, um, you don't have to put a butterfly or anything. You can, I'm just saying, it's just images, it's just art. And you don't have to really think about what stamp you want to use or, you know, you just play with textures like I put it in the toaster oven that was new at 200 only so it's very you know it's not going to burn anything and um, I was sit I seriously was literally with my elbows there just watching in the in the mirror or in the mirror in the window <laughs> oh it's so funny because um, when I'm driving my car and I'm looking in my little mirror I call it a window <laughs> I can't see out the window, and it's actually the mirror, and now I'm saying window, mirror, I don't know. Funny. Funny how we talk. It's probably more funny how I talk. <laughs> so, 
I really like this. This is this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the back yet. Um, that will be something I'll think about later. I don't really want to uh, worry about it. I don't know if I'll add more art to it or just a black backing or paint. It's something I'm not really worried about. I'm really loving that look. I'm just being very random. that one. I think I'll pull this part up here a little bit longer. And I use this Stampology Clear Ink. It's supposed to be permanent. So that's what I'm using for this black here. Just to let you know. Now this is what we have. I'm not rushing through the process, so I'm like, we're not in a race, we are just in, I just want to show you guys as we're going how pretty it's looking. It's going to dry overnight really nice and hard, right now it's still very, I had used a lot of glue and a lot of paint on it, so. And these are the ones we have so far. I really like them. I'm going to just drop them. I'm going to ink the edges, but I'm not going to do like a huge... I'm just going to do it, you know, a little bit. Ink the edges around. I know I'm not done, but... Um, sometimes I forget and then I have things that are right up against the edge and then, mm. and I like to I like to highlight or to darken the edge to be like the frame of whatever work I do so that's why I like doing it so that to me compared to that is just a touch better for me just a touch more I like it so I'm going to ink the edges on these Okay, so now they are all inked, and there's 10 of them, and they look great. So what I'm going to do now is now they're going to be individuals. So first of all, I did the paint. Um, we did the paint, the background, um, added the paper, um, added the stenciling and now each and every one of these now at this point are going to be individuals from now on they're all going to have whatever I'm not going to be placing them all out and adding the same thing to to each of them so now they stop at this point and then become their own art card with some familiar like something you know it's the same about them, right? But they're all going to be different now, from now on. So I have um, some ideas where I'm going to use on this card. So you guys can use your own themes, your own thing, but this card's going to be my happiness card. So I'm going to make this my happiness card, 
and that's what it's going to be. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is I would like to have masking tape, but I don't have it because I think the kids used it up or never returned it. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to try to cut around the red marks. I'm going to grab a dictionary, English thesaurus, and I'm going to lay some tape in here. How does this work? I just got to pull it. Lay it. That kind of thing. And I'm going to pull it up before it gets too stuck down. If, that's, if that can happen. And there we go. Now my goal was to have this. Can you see all that writing back there? That was my goal. Put it back. And now I'm just going to play with um, the pieces that I want. I don't want the red pieces of the male. So I'm going to have to cut around them. But I really don't want those on there. If I can cut around them, that would be better for me. Let's see if I can get a decent strip of paper here. So, nice big masking tape would be nice. I almost bought some, but it had a tinge of yellow to it. I wasn't clear when I was at that particular place, and I did not like that. So now I'm going to add a little bit of Mod Podge, and I think that will help because it's not totally sticky. And then I'm going to put my um, semi-opaque tape transfers, that's what's like, you know, my tape transfers, transfers, speaking the English, on here and um, just as a little something else. Um, I don't know if I have done a video on tape transfers for you guys before. I thought I had, but to be honest, I might have just did a show. So. But yeah, you can put them on magazine paper and get really nice transfers of, of magazine pictures. So it's a it's a different technique that doesn't get used often. And I've used it on my journaling before. In fact, do I have my little mini journal up here? I'll sh if I do, I can show you. I think it's right nearby. see here. Okay, my mini journal right here. Right here is a tape transfer. And that was, um, a, that's the kind of tape I had. This is two strips of masking tape. I think it was two strips. Well, it's one and, and then a little one or whatever. So that that's it. That was on a nice card um, from my YWAP group that we had. It was an advertisement for that. And that was the years happened to be t the, oh, 2013 I think because the year had got stuck. T the glue stuck. That's when we did that. And this is the reverse on the card. So I put the card itself on this journal. So that's, these are mini art journals. It's actually like little address books or something like that. And notebooks, teeny ones, and I like them for tests on stuff. 
So this is the reverse. And what I did, oh, I'm not even explaining myself well. What I did on this one is I put my stencil over top and then I pushed it all down. And I used my stylus in this in this area as here with my cone, honey cones thing, and then I just pushed to make sure the tape was down. I pushed on the opposite side on this one and on this, you know, and I was really careful to make sure I got really in there well. And then you can see this is the opposite paper here. I pulled it off. And there's her eyelashes in the bottom. And then these are the end pieces that were ripped off the end because it was a bigger card. So, okay. You can see the eyelashes there, so that's pretty cool. And I think I have one more in here. This is another tape transfer in the magazine. And I did this with one of my homemade stencils, did I not? You can see it through that I did, but the, the green is coming up really nicely in this, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the stenciling through. So it re looks really nice with stenciling. It's pretty cool. So you can do it with or without. But anyways, that was just a little show. Yakking away there. So here's some, just some lift up tr like words. I could do um, a picture as well. It's whatever you guys, if you want to do a picture, do a picture. It's really fun to do. So, I enjoyed it. And I've used it quite a few times in the past. So, it's just whatever you're kind of into at the moment. And now, look at that, I'm bringing it back. But, I would have a nice big strip if I didn't have all these red... Canadian Post thingies on here, but like I said, even if I had masking tape, it'd be better. But no, no, no. I'm starting to have a little bit on the kids with the using stuff now. I'm like, you have to put it away. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I'm trying to put it where I can see the writing. And I'm just being kind of placing it here and there and, and trying not to, because I don't want no more red on there, so I didn't really want to. I might have a little red there, but. I have read on the, the writing, the script. I don't need it on the tape, on the card. It'll totally wreck the card. So that's enough, because that's all I want to play with, with that. I'm just going to dry this quickly with my heat tool and then cut the edges off. It doesn't take much to dry it because um, I'm just cover myself with a blanket and cold. Um, well, you're going to melt it, right? So, But there's not too much glue. I just help the adhesive kind of stuck to the paper in the magazine so it's not so sticky. And I like to make sure it stays on. It's there. It's neat. It's different. So that's, that's that. That is that. Happy. Make it happy. I think. I'm going to add some string. How am I going to add string now, guys? How, how, how? Make it interesting. 
I don't really want to make it so it doesn't, um, I don't want to bother the holes. We want it to sit nice. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to punch more holes in there. I'm going to add some strings. So some kind of twine or something to my first happy one. See, now I'm happy. <laughs> my happy card's making me happy. I was just thinking, um, went to my jewelry thing, and I'm like, oh, this is the largest one I have. But then I'm like, oh, yeah, I have these. Cleaning up. Cleaning up makes it good. So, you know, you have your rings, jump, oversized jump rings, that kind of thing. Okay, well, this video is getting long, so I'm just going to stitch this up right here. And, um have a little loop for string. So I'm gonna finish that up in the next video.